Hello, I hope you are well. As many of you know, I am an ambassador for Pampers. I've worked with them a lot over the last few years and uh, I kind of feel like I know their products really well. Um, but this time around with Max, actually, they have, uh, I talked about in my hospital bag, they had new wipes and new nappies. And, uh, and so I use those. And it got me thinking about all the things I've used this time around with Max that I didn't use with uh, Buzz and Buddy. So first up, the aforementioned uh, Pampers nappies and wipes. They are Pampers Pure Protection. So those are the nappies and these are the wipes. Now they are just as good as all the other Pampers that you would have used before. Uh, and they have the great things like the yellow line, which my mate, by the way, didn't know that when it turns blue, that means that your child has done a pee. She's on her second child. There are many things I'm finding out this time around, even third time around, but it's funny the things that completely go over your head. And then when you find them out, you're like, oh, Oh yeah, I get it, I get it. Anyway, it contains the yellow line, which I love. Um, they are made from um, premium cotton and plant-based materials found in sugar cane. They are endorsed by the British Skin Foundation for sensitive skin. There's up to 12 hours of dryness to, you know, overnight when your child finally starts sleeping through, you don't have to worry about leakage. And actually the graphics on these are very different to the other ones. Here you go. So this one's actually got bottles of milk all over it, um, and uh, and they're just they're just cute graphics, and they've got like heart like heart shaped quilting on the inside, um, which is extremely good apparently for runny poo. And these are actually on offer for five pounds from Sainsbury's until the twelfth of February. So until the twelfth of February in Sainsbury's, five pounds. So grab yourself a bargain uh, with those. Next up, this is a product that I would literally gift anyone I know that is about to have a baby and I don't care how the baby is coming out I think this is a great product it is from my expert midwife and it spritz for bits uh, my friend actually um, uh, handed me hers half used like she'd finished using it and she was like I've got some of this left it's amazing so I thought yeah yeah I'll try that I'll try that it's lavender uh, lavender tea tree and witch hazel to soothe calm and promote healing spritz for bits in a hospital is a hospital bag essential um, I use this for a few weeks after giving birth to Max it is amazing Amazing. Um, a little bit of I just found this super soothing um, a lovely smell lovely comforting smell weirdly it's got vanilla in it as well which I just love I actually did give it to a neighbor who I didn't know very well and I did wonder whether that was too much too soon uh, she'd only been in the house a, a few weeks and I was I knew that she'd have a baby so I was like Aah! maybe too much too soon we haven't spoken again since, but I'm sure that's not linked to the fact that I sent her some spritz for her foof. Now on to boobs. I thought that I uh, knew all there was. You know, I, I have my Lancelin cream, which I absolutely love, still use. However, this time around, another friend, the same friend, uh, she had some leftover, is it hydrogel pads? And, and she gave me a few of those. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, just amazing um literally after i finished feeding i would put a gel pad on either one either nipple and then just cooling just cooling and take them off before the next feed so i used all of hers she had two different types and then i reordered the medella ones and actually the reason i don't have any here to show you to kind of hold up is because then i once i stopped using them and didn't need them anymore i uh, put a little package together and gave it to my sister-in-law becky so i don't have any to show you but here's a nice little picture that i found on the internet Next up on the boob front, I have always used a Medela pump. I'm very, very happy with my pump. Um, however, uh, friends of mine were talking about this little nifty thing, which I think was about 10 or 12 pounds on Amazon. It's called a, I wanna say a hacker, but it's H-A-A-K-A-A, -A -A, possibly a hacker. Who knows? Anyway, this, you squeeze it gently, you put it on your boob, and it kind of sucks all the milk out. I was dubious. Because um, I love my Bedella so much, but literally, so I would feed on one side. This one catch, it catches the letdown, which in the early days, I mean, my milk was just like, woo, slip and slide. Um, so uh, this was uh, brilliant, at making me feel like 
A, I wasn't leaking everywhere, and and two, to B, I had to, oh, I'm not gonna get any sleep. And, uh, and B, uh, to just make the most of that milk rather than, you know, just going all over my top. So it works amazingly. One night, actually, when uh, when Max slept through the night, I uh, my boobs were quite engorged, so I decided to have a little bit of a letdown on this one while I was feeding on that one. Five ounces, um, which is just incredible. Um, from something that's relatively cheap. Um, I think you can use it as a pump as well if you didn't. I, I have used it as a pump, uh, but it's most effective when catching letdown. So, the next product is called an LV, another pump. Now, the one that I just showed you was about 10, 12 pounds. I should have checked that before doing this video, but I didn't. This one is the other end of the scale uh, and is 250 pounds. Um, and it was sent to me, it was gifted, it was sent to management and when I first got it, I was a bit dubious to be honest. I have my Medela one that I love, that I've used the other two pregnancies that I was using. I was really dubious about it, um, didn't really, I, I was kind of at the stage where I'm over having stuff, I don't need new stuff. Um, I've got stuff, I don't need more. And, uh, but they sent it over anyway and it literally sat in the corner of the room for about three months. Then I saw it advertised on Instagram. Uh, it seemed to be everywhere I went, uh, people were talking about it. And again, wasn't that bothered because I was really, really happy. Um, and then I think we had to go somewhere and I knew I would have to express on the move and this came up. And I just thought, I wonder if it's worth giving it a shot. So I gave it a shot and I was really surprised, really surprised, and I, and I really didn't want to like it, I'll be completely honest. So the idea of this is, uh, is to stop people feeling like cows when they are expressing, and, it's a, and you're able to basically do it on the go. So this fits in your bra. They do say that you can have a, like a board meeting and use it, I don't believe that you can hold a board music meeting. Um, I, like it sticks out, like it sticks out that far. It just goes into your bra. They actually do have extra like um, like bits to go onto your bra to hook it in if your bra isn't that elasticated. Mine's very elasticated, so it just slips in. And there's an app. There's an app to your phone, so you can make it. You can control it from your phone, and it tells you how much. It measures how much is in there, so it senses it. So it will tell your phone as well. This is the single one. There is a double one. The single one is £250, the double is £450. I don't know, I don't know whether to recommend it to people. The thing is, it is an amazing pump, it really is. And if I was a first time mum, I would be tempted to get it, um, knowing that you can move around, it is silent. I have uh, expressed now twice in the back of a taxi using this and the driver hasn't battered an eyelid um, because he can't hear it. It's not completely silent, but it's silent enough um, that it, you know, like I'm aware of it, but I don't think other people would be aware of it. As um, I don't think I would walk down a street and do it, but um, yeah, I, I really rate it, which is why it's in this uh, video. Um, so two completely different ends of the scale though. Two new milking devices, um, one that is essentially there to stop you feeling like a cow, the other one is to stop you feeling like a slip and slide. Um, both highly rated in my book, um, yeah, the only thing I can fault on this one is the price, but I completely understand um, that it is brilliant and, uh, and kind of taking breastfeeding in a different direction, I guess, to make you feel less like a cow, and that's their whole campaign, is to make you feel less like a cow. Anyway, that's that. The last two are bigger. Uh, the one, this one is a high chair. So we have um, a, a baby born high chair, which Buddy has actually gone back to sitting in. I've no idea why. And my brother had this one. My brother's just had a little baby Parker. And it's a stocker, uh, which has been around for years and years and years. I, I mean, I could move the camera or I'll just hold it up. There you go, it's one of those. You've probably seen it. It's been around for like 30 years or something ridiculous. Mario got it and you know, when you're third time around as someone who has a child tries telling you about a gadget, you're like, yeah, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine, I know my gadgets, I know what I've got, I know my products. Um, but Mario kept going on about it and then we went round to his house for dinner um, and uh, while we were all sat at the table, obviously I had Max and he was awake because babies don't like napping when you're about to eat um, and we put him in that because Parker was napping um, and he loved it, he just loved being up at the table and it made me think that actually that was probably a good way to go, especially with the boys and uh, them being so active and it means that he can kind of 
just be with us rather than him be down low somewhere um, and actually this is the top for newborns but there are different settings so we're a few weeks away now from changing it to a uh, you know a setting for a six month old <laughs> and literally the chair changes as the child grows up on the picture there's actually an adult sitting on it which I really like I like the fact that it can literally stay with you for life and turn into a chair so that is uh, money well spent I think and the next one is a baby zen yo-yo pram now last year or the year before my sister we all went to italy my sister was going on about a baby zen yo-yo and i was like yeah like i've got a mountain nano and i'm very very happy and i am i was very happy with my mountain nano then we were going on holiday with a newborn somewhere hot and we needed to think about what was going to be the best way of traveling there, having something that he could nap in. So I would have taken the Duna, which is a product that I found out after, but after Buddy, which I was like, I don't need, I did. Um, and um, uh, I would have taken that, but I wanted something that meant that he could have naps on the beach. So I wanted something that went completely flat. And uh, the baby Zen Yo-Yo is just incredible. It's lightweight. You can take it on the, fl uh, on the flight. Um, so that means as soon as you get off, it's there. You can put your baby straight in it. You don't have to juggle and wait for it to come out of the oversized baggage or whatever. I can't even explain it. It was just lightweight and easy to use. And now I totally understand why so many people have been banging on about it for so long. <laughs> so I've kind of had to apologize to my brother and my sister uh, for them trying to push products onto me and me being like, no, nope, don't need that. Obviously I could have coped without them, but I would say that these products have made my life a little bit easier. Anyway, I hope this has been a little bit insightful. Clearly, I don't listen to people when they recommend products, um, but I should. I will link all the products down below if you want to have a look. And don't forget those Pampers are £5 from Sainsbury's until the 12th. Always nice to get a bargain. Right, I shall speak to you soon. Bye!